becomes more complicated. It seems as if many of the things that were once special to us have somehow lost what made them special. Sometimes we don't realize what we value the most today may very well wind up in a closet tomorrow. Adding machines used to take up half a desk, and now I have a calculator that I lose in my purse. I wouldn't even bother recalling hemlines and hairdos. But one thing that always manages to keep its head above water is tradition. The glue that holds a family together. It's a glue that's only as strong as the commitment given to it. And its toughest test is when someone feels a need to find their own way. And that's what our story is about in this episode of Still a Beaver. Grandpa Ward. You miss it? Yes. 
especially around the holiday time. You know, there was nothing he liked better than to have his whole family together. You kids and your folks and his sister. Gloria, I like her. She's my cheek pincher. <laughs> That's why I like her, too. I wish she hadn't moved so far away. Grandma, I promise I'll never move away, except for summer camp. <laughs> oh, I love you, Kelly. game while we eat. Wow. And it gets even better. We're going to have dessert in the hot tub. There's no way Dad's going to let you spend Thanksgiving at someone else's house. He's just got to. I'm not just begging like a little kid. You saw my proposal. I covered every objection he could possibly have. Oh, yeah. It was real good. Only it's too bad the E wasn't working on Grandma's typewriter. Don't worry. I'm sure he got the gist of it. How are my guys today? Happy Thanksgiving, Dad. Ah, oh, thanks, Doc. Oh. Boy, do you look terrific. Uh, why don't you go down and show your grandmother how good you look? Are you trying to get rid of me? Oh, in a word, yes. I told you. <laughs> Dad, did you read my proposal? Well, I, I certainly did, you know. Now, it was a little hard to read because of the ease, but uh, I have to admit that your grammar and typing have gotten a lot better. Thanks. Then I can go. Well, let me just say that I really appreciate the, the thought and the maturity that went into this effort. In other words, I'm stuck here all day. Hey, well, well let's not get that attitude. Uh, you know, this is supposed to be a special day. Dad, I'm not trying to be fresh or anything, but I don't think it's special to have to listen to Lumpy Rutherford Grouse because he's sitting at the little table or listen to his dad. Make with the old of the lips, through the gums, look at stomach, here it comes. <laughs> Always makes me laugh. That's because he's your boss. <laughs> I know it's important to you to be with your friends, but I think it's more important for you to be with us. If that's what you really want, you got it. Thanks, son. really eat dessert in the hot tub, huh? out here to beg me to stay, and she doesn't realize what a proud person your father really is. Actually, sir, she just wanted me to give you your jacket. <laughs> Fifteen years. All I've heard from Fatso and the old crone is how I'm not supporting their daughter in a way that she's accustomed to. 
He's a warden. What am I supposed to do? Put bars on the windows? Get an arsonist to cook for us? Yeah, if Papa wants to make up. He says he'll give you more time to pay back the loan. Loan? That money was a gift. If I give in to this one, the next thing the warden will want is the money back on a crummy vacuum he gave us as a wedding gift. I'll miss you, Dad. Oh, Frederick, you got a couple of extra bucks on you? What a pen. You'll want a receipt for this, no doubt. That's all right, Dad. It's a holiday. <laughs> Off. You gotta promise not to tell anybody, okay? Don't worry, I can keep a secret. Mom tells me not to tell you stuff all the time. Hello? Uh, hello, this is Wally. Wally Cleaver. And Kelly, too. Hey, listen, I know this is kind of late notice, but um, how would you like to fly out and have Thanksgiving dinner with the whole family? You what? Oh, the answering service. <laughs> Uh, well, um, I know you must be very lonely during the holidays, but I was really inviting my Aunt Gloria. Do you know when she'll be home? Here's my family. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> um, hey, don't you kids have anything better to do with your life than sit around and make these phony phone calls all day? I'll handle this. Now listen, no more phone calls, no more delivering pizzas, or we'll call the police, you'll go to jail, and you'll never get into a good college. Anyone for waffles? <laughs> Hey, Dylan, how's this look together? Fine if you're going to Don Ho's wedding. Look, he can make me stay over dinner, but he can't make me look good. Yeah, that'll show him. What was I supposed to do? Beg, scream, say you want to move back with your mother. Anything but write a proposal. Rub it in, why don't you? Okay. Did I tell you my old man rented the Rocky Horror Picture Show for after dinner? I always wanted to see that. So go on. You can ask him again. He always saying what a pushover he is. Yeah, the kind of pushover who cries every time he sees the Wizard of Oz. Something like this, the answer's still gonna be no. You got nothing to lose by trying. Unless you're afraid to even ask. You're not afraid of your old man, are you? about this before, but I really feel I'm going to be missing something if I don't eat at Dylan's. If you feel that strongly about it, you can have your dessert in the bathtub. Grandma, don't look at me. This time I happen to agree with your father. Dad, I really don't understand. I spend every holiday with your friends, and the one time one of my friends invites me over, and you won't even consider it. I did consider it, and I told you how I felt. Look, Dad, Grandma. I'm not the kind of kid who gets in trouble. I try hard in school, and I haven't beat up Oliver in months. Even though a couple of times he was really asking for it. Why are you making me stay here? Kip, you act like spending Thanksgiving with your family is some kind of punishment. It's not that. Just that I feel I'm old enough to make some choices of my own. Especially something like spending a few hours at a friend's house. Kip, I'm afraid as long as you're living in this house, you're going to have to abide by your father's decisions. That's right. And when you get to Dylan's house, I want you to thank his parents for having invited you over, wash your hands before you sit down, and wait a half hour after you eat before you get in the hot tub or you'll get cramps. You mean I can go? That's what you want, isn't it? Yahoo! Have a nice Thanksgiving. Beaver, I don't understand. It's Thanksgiving. I think family should be together. So do I. But I think that's something Kip's going to have to learn for himself. The Rutherfords. 
Happy Thanksgiving! <laughs> had the right idea after all. Thank you. Okay, girls, over here. You ready? Here we. <laughs> What's so funny? I don't know. Are you having a good time? Yeah, it's Thanksgiving. Everybody's here except for Pip and JJ's mom. She went to the back <laughs> for the holidays. <laughs> yeah, last year she gained 16 pounds between Christmas and New Year's. <laughs> I hope I don't get her metabolism. Holy <laughs> shit. Hey guys, who's winning? My bookie. <laughs> I wonder if you get some new material. Well, who are you, Rex Reed or something? Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm just mad at myself for letting Kip go to Dylan's. Hey, no, Theodore. You did the right thing. You're a terrific father. Do you really think so? Sure. My dad never let me do anything I wanted, and I resent him for it. Come on, Lon. That was a long time ago. Oh, yeah? I had tickets to this game. And he made me come here. Anytime, Kit, but on Thanksgiving, we like to have just the family. It's sort of a tradition. Hey, Mom, what is this jive? Maybe next time you'll ask. You, inside. I'll see you later, Kit. Okay, bye. Hey, man, I'm not gonna let this pass. From now on, I'm gonna make their lives miserable. Thanks. Maybe I could do the same for you someday. Dylan! I'll call you in a half hour. Don't bother. After I beg to leave, how can I go home? Hang in there, buddy. a turkey sandwich and a milk. Put it on my bill. Hey, Chef Boyardee, let's move it, huh? If I wanted indifferent service, I'd have gone to a good restaurant. Thanks a lot, Mr. Haskell. And yeah, no sweat. Hey, what are you doing here? Freddie said you were supposed to be eating at Dylan's. I was. Yeah, what'd you do? Put the moves on his big sister? <laughs> in the jeans. Will you look at that? He get more turkey at the rescue mission. Is that a flea or a puppy seed? What a die. At home about now, all you can smell is the rolls cooking. Oliver and Kelly be making puppets by putting olives on their fingers. Pretty soon, Grandma will bring out the turkey, and Mr. Rutherford will crack everybody up with that funny toast over the lips and through the gums. Hey, you know what I'm doing? I'm playing the world's saddest song on the world's smallest violin. 
<laughs> if that's the way you feel, quit boring me and go on home. I can't. If my dad found out he was right this time, I'd never hear the end of it. Maybe not so work. You know the old beaver, he may not be Obi-Wan Kenobi, but he's got a big heart and a real forgiving nature. I think so. He's still talking to me, isn't he? <laughs> but you know, the longer you let it slide, the harder it gets to admit you were wrong. I guess you're wrong. Right. Thanks a lot, Mr. Haskell. I appreciate it. Hey, Sam, don't go spreading it around. I got a reputation to protect. <laughs> It's not going to change anything. What are you doing to my granddaughter now? Me? I asked Clarence if there was any way I could sit at the big table tonight. Well, of course there is, my little cupcake. You just trade places with your father, and you can sit right next to me. Daddy, will you stop your whining already? Mom, Grandma, everybody! Here, I want you to get all of this. Okay. What's wrong, honey? Ta da! Surprise! Get in your office. Oh, my. Okay, I'm going to fix it. 
I just like to say how happy I am that we're all here today. And you know, I think it would be a nice idea if we all joined hands and give thanks. Because at a time when people seem to be drifting apart, our family and our friends keep growing closer. Wally, would you do the honor? Ah, uh, I'd love to. Hey, Wally, save me the front half. Just like add one thing to that. Over the lips, through the gums, look out stomach, here it comes! <laughs>